Hi, and welcome to another Trian 3D Builder tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to see how to easily create, select, and modify vector data. In Trian 3D Builder, we can create different types of vector data such as points, lines, Bezier curves, cloth width curves, areas, and Bezier areas. To create any of this, we simply click on the icon and start drawing on the 2D view. To confirm, simply right mouse click. To create a line, we follow the same process. We simply click on the icon and start drawing on the 2D view. To confirm, simply right mouse click. Let's take a look at the Vessier curves. So again, we click on the icon and simply start drawing. The Vessier curves gives us the possibility to create soft curves. We do that by, instead of just clicking, we click and drag, like so. Now, we'll take a look at cloth to width curves. These are a special type of curves, which creates curves such as those that can be found on roads or highways. The creation process is the same. Click on the icon and draw on the 2D view. Let's now create some areas following the same process. We select the Create Area tool, draw on the 2D view and confirm with right mouse click. To create a Bezier area, we follow the same steps. Let's take a look at how selecting works in 3N 3D Builder. There are three ways we can select vectors in 3N 3D Builder. First, we can select the whole vector list in the VEC tree or we can directly select the list on the 2D view by dragging or clicking on an element. Once we have a list selected, we can sub-select an element inside that list. We do that by clicking on the Select Element icon and then simply select the element we want on the 2D view. Okay, so now we have an element selected. We can now select specific points inside that element. Click on the Select Point icon and select the desired points on the 2D view. We can also add points to the selection with the Shift key and remove points from the selection with the Control key. We can also access these selection modes by right mouse clicking on the 2D view. Let's see how we can group vectors. To create a group, we simply click on the Create Group icon. Let's rename it to Group 1. Now, let's add another one and call it Group 2. Now, simply drag and drop the list into the desired folders. As you can see, now we have one list in each folder. We can also move elements that are inside the list into another folder. To do that, we select some elements in a list and then click on the Move Subselection to Vector Group. In the dialog that appears, we choose a target folder and click OK. Now we can see some elements are in one folder and the rest are in the other. Let's see the transformation tools we have in Trian 3D Builder. Over here, we have the Select tool, the Move tool, the Rotate tool, and the Scale tool. In order to move, rotate, or scale a vector, first we need to have something selected. So let's go ahead and select an element point. This vector list happens to have an ID of Built Up Area, which contains models of buildings. To see them, we go to the Vector menu and click on the Show Selected Vec Geometry option. Now that we can see the actual model, we can move it or, for example, rotate it using the Object Center as Pivot Point option. Let's go ahead and remove the model from the 2D view by clicking on the Vector menu and clicking Remove All Vec Geometry option. Let's now try with a Vessier line. We go into Point Selection and select one of these handles. 
Now we can edit the handles until we are happy with the result. To exit, simply right mouse click. The scale and rotate tool can be set either to use click point as pivot or use object center as pivot. Let's see how we can use this. Let's select any vector. Now the rotate tool. If we use the click point as pivot, the rotation center will take place wherever we clicked, like this. If we change to use object center as pivot, the rotation center will be the object center, as you can see. Finally, let's see how we can further edit our vector data. For that, we need to enter point selection and in the line edit tools, we can see various tools like insert points, split lines and extend lines. We can also find convert bezier or clothoid to line, convert line to clothoid, convert line to bezier or convert line to area. We also find the revert point order tool here. That was it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.